So, oh, Professor um, uh, Ziraf, can you tell us uh, who win this year's uh, Nobel Prize in Medicine and why? Okay, so this year's Nobel Prize is awarded to Professor Yoshinori Osumi and he's from the uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology in Japan. And he has been awarded for his discoveries of mechanisms for autophagy. Yeah, what, what, uh, what is autophagy? All right. I mean, for the ordinary people, just to explain uh, what's the contribution uh, is that. So autophagy comes from the Greek uh, words self-eating, and this is a process, an intercellular process, that allows the cell to deal with um, long-lived or damaged proteins, and it also allows the cell to survive stress, such as from starvation. And what he identified was the molecular machinery for autophagy. So how the autophagosomes are um, sort of, they're, they're moved to the lysosome. The lysosome, or the, in his case, the vacuole, is a, a compartment of the cell that degrades proteins. And before his pioneering work, people thought the lysosome was just a waste bin in the cells. But what he could show was that because of the autophagy process in this machinery, the cell has a way to, to be able to renew itself so not only can the cell break down long-lived or damaged proteins, but the cell can then utilize these proteins for building new proteins. Every day, we have to build two to 300 grams of new proteins. Every two to three months, every protein in our body is turned over. They're, they're new. So this process is really important because it helps us to be able to renew the proteins in our body. The amino acids and proteins that we eat are not sufficient to deal with the demands of building new proteins. So this is a really essential recycling plant. It allows us to recycle proteins and to renew ourselves. So this is really a key from his work. But that means this uh, uh, autophagy process is exist in our body system. Only we find it now. Well, oftentimes many of the things that the laureates discover are things that are always there, but the reason they are awarded the prize is because they're discovering something that was previously unrecognized or unknown. And so he really made the discovery that this machinery is really important, that it's critical for survival, and that he identified the genes and the protein products that are orchestrating the, the movement of the autophagosome, how the autophagosome is formed, and how it is working to deliver contents to the lysosome for degradation. So again, it explains the body is like a miracle. It can sort of can renew itself, maybe, well, if you yeah, yeah. find the, the, this. The body's really smart. The body has a way to um, renew itself. And without this process, we wouldn't be able to do that. We wouldn't survive. Uh, starvation, we wouldn't survive stresses. So if you can delete some of these important genes in this machinery, um, we fail to thrive, we die. So this is really important. Some of the um, de defects in the autophagy machinery are associated with diseases like neurogenitive diseases, diabetes, too much autophagy is not good for the cell either. Um, that can lead to some cancers. So it's really an important fundamental mechanism that helps our bodies cope with life. Uh, so you mean it can contribute to some modern clinical uh, treatment? So disturbances or disruptions in the machinery that are important for autophagy are associated with neurological diseases, with cancer, um, with diabetes, for example. Thank you very much. Okay, good luck. Thank you.